Hello everyone and welcome back to Lady Fire's Kitchen. Today I have a mouth-watering recipe for you. Rigatoni and sausage fennel. So let's go over the ingredients, shall we? We have three teaspoons of good olive oil, three cups of chopped fennel, one and a half cup of onion, one and a quarter pound sweet Italian sausage, casings remove of course, two teaspoons of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of whole fennel seeds crushed with a mortar and pestle, half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, of course kosher salt and fresh ground pepper, one cup of dry white, white wine, one cup of heavy cream, two third cups of half and half, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one pound of rigatoni and actually the whole package is a whole pound of rigatoni and of course we're gonna have the last two ingredients here the last but not least freshly grated parm cheese and of course we're gonna have as well our parsley chopped okay so without further ado let's get to cooking all right so we already put our three teaspoons of olive oil Immediately, I'm gonna, I turn it on high, but I'm gonna reduce the heat to, to at least um, medium high, all right? And we're going to put uh, all our leeks in here. Fennel, I'm sorry. Get it all in. And at the same time, we are going to add the onion. And we're going to fry this uh, for approximately seven minutes, okay? So give it a stir, right? You can get all that olive oil with our ingredients here. And if you have never tried fennel and you smell it for the first time, it smells like licorice. It smells so good. It's very fragrant and it's very good. So we're gonna do this for approximately seven minutes, okay? Be right back. Okay, okay our seven minutes have elapsed. So we are ready for our sausage, okay? All goes in. And we're going to cook our sausage for seven to eight minutes, okay? Oh, there's my alarm. Do the same thing. Mix it all together, try to make it as small as you possibly can. And remember, you need to remove it from the casings. Don't leave it in the casings, you have to remove it. When you make this, I guarantee you, ooh, I lost a little piece there, no problem. Um, I guarantee you, it's going to go. So you think it's going to be a lot? Mm-mm. As soon as you give it to your family, it's gonna be gone. It's very savory, it's super delicious. And that sausage gives it a little bit of a, a kick to it, it's, it's amazing. The only way for you to find out is if you do it yourself, okay? All right, we already waited the seven to eight minutes for the sausage to cook. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reduce the temperature to medium high. And the reason for that is because I'm going to put garlic and I'm just gonna make this little hole here so I can cook it right there. And you need two tablespoons of garlic. Fresh, right? You know I like it fresh. It's another one, there you go. We're gonna add all of our dry spices in here. Last but not least, the pepper flakes. Here we go. And I'm just gonna tend to it. Do not let the garlic burn because there's nothing worse than garlic that is burnt. So that's why I just kinda reduce the heat and let it cook for a little bit for, just for maybe a minute or less than a minute. 
see, don't let it turn brown. All right, so let's do that for a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, so now that it's cooked a little bit, the, the garlic, we're just gonna add two teaspoons of salt. And I am going to crush some pepper. That's about enough. Let's mix it all together before that garlic burns. Perfect. Absolutely. Oh, can you smell that? This is so good. I can smell the sausage, the garlic. The spice is so delicious. It's looking great, isn't it? And a shot for the for the pasta to be. Isn't that great? Okay, guys. So I put the mixture to the side, and I'm gonna start working on my pasta. Okay, pasta probably take around. 10, 12 minutes, you just read the instructions on your package, you will know. So you just need to season the water, maybe about two teaspoons will be perfectly fine. And you don't want the pasta to uh, attach to each other, so the best thing to do would be to put a little bit of um, olive oil, that's about enough, right? And when this is boiling, that's when you're going to add your pasta in, okay? Right now, I'm just waiting for this to boil. See, it's working, it's doing it. And once it starts boiling, then I'll put my pasta in. And the instructions probably will be on the back. It will say 14 minutes. If you like al dente, do the 14 minutes. If you like it a little bit softer, you can go 15 minutes. I like it a little bit softer. Uh, but I think last time I just waited the 14 minutes and followed the instructions on the package, okay? We'll be right back. All right, so our water is boiling and we're ready to put in our rigatoni. All of it. And ensure that immediately you start moving so it won't stick together. Remember to set your timer for, timer for 14 minutes and that time will be completely cooked. Now, five minutes before this is done, I'm gonna start working on my uh, the other ingredients that I have here so that I can start finishing up with that because I have some ingredients that I still need to add but I'm doing both at the same time so I can get it together put it all together for you all right so we'll be right okay guys so I just wanted to make sure that the pasta has not stick together which it has not so I'm just gonna leave it there for the remainder of the time and I'm gonna start finishing this part of the recipe, okay? So with that, we're just gonna add the one cup of wine. The one cup of heavy whipping cream. That's one third, but we need two thirds of half and half, okay? Here we go. And we also need two teaspoons of tomato paste, okay? You can use whatever tomato paste you like. I like buying this one because usually you don't use the whole thing and I don't want to waste stuff away. All right, so I'm gonna to have to switch. So we're gonna put this on high. And move it around while we wait for our pasta to finish, okay? Just put it on. Once it, it heats up and you see it, see it bubbling, lower the temperature to medium high and wait for your pasta to get done okay 
All right, guys, 14 minutes have elapsed. So now we're going to take and we're going to drain the water out of the, uh, the rigatoni. And we just keep on, we already added all the other ingredients. We're waiting for it to um, get a little bit thicker. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, if you see it's thickening up, and one agent that is going to help speed this process will be the cheese. So we add half, the half a cup of cheese. Give it a little mix. And at this point, I think we are ready to add our pasta in, okay? Let me use another. I don't want to mix one thing with the other, so. Start putting it in, slowly but surely. All in, and we're just gonna mix it well, okay? Get all of that sauce up here. I'm gonna lower the temperature a little bit. I was gonna be on low. So actually I let it cook for probably 15 minutes, the sauce by itself until it thickened up. And we're gonna keep on doing this until it's completely mixed, okay? So I have mixed it, and now I'm just gonna add some of the parsley in, and I'm gonna mix this as well. So I get all of the pasta have that, that color in there, and let's just mix that too. Looking good. See how beautiful that looks? Isn't that wonderful? You wanna try? And here you guys have it, rigatoni with sausage and fennel. Beautiful, right? And it tastes better than it looks, I guarantee you. I hope you enjoy it, try the recipe, make it at home, make your family happy. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next time at Edifier's Kitchen, see you later.